in the ICU, uh, you take care of patients there and they have unbelievable unremitting inflammation. And so I've been focusing on that in my lab for since I was the chief of pulmonary at Johns Hopkins. And it was in a time when I was, when I was at Hopkins that I identified a protein. I identified a protein, it's called NAMPT. And it turns out um, that this protein is a master regulator of inflammation. So we found that NAMPT is in the blood of patients with ARDS. We found that NAMPT is a good target because we developed an antibody that blocks NAMPT. And so that journey has now taken us to where we developed a specific monoclonal antibody to that protein. And now we have a humanized monoclonal antibody. It's called ALT100. And that's the antibody that we're using in clinical trials right now to, uh, to try to see where we can move the needle on ARDS mortality. Not only do we have a strong, a very compelling body of preclinical evidence, but it's coupled with the fact that we have manufactured uh, product uh, of ALT100. And I think it just puts us in a, in a tremendous position now that we're in human clinical trials and already our first cohort's been dosed, zero issues with safety. And we're very, very bullish on moving this uh, through the, the clinical trial so we can get into a phase 2A study and really demonstrate that we will have efficacy in moderate to, se to severe ARDS patients. Right now, uh, patients in the ICU have overwhelming inflammation, and the longer you're on a ventilator, the more inflammation you're developing, and our antibody blocks ventilator-induced inflammation. So it means that patients are gonna get out of the ICU sooner and, or may not even need to go into the ICU. We just filed our application to the FDA for approval of this drug as in trials for in humans. We're one of the only companies in an ARDS specific area that has a, a large animal model. And when given our therapeutic drug, and this is very close to replicating what would happen in humans, there's a dramatic reduction in overall inflama inflammation and inflammatory markers. But most importantly, there's a greater than 50% improvement in all lung indices. So what we believe is that this will, if replicated in humans, can lead to reduced days on ventilation and ultimately a mortality benefit. And in addition to that, the antifibrotic benefits of this therapy uh, show great promise in the utility of other many different disease states that are driven by innate immunity. The holy grail for a physician scientist is actually to identify something in the lab that they can bring out of the lab that can actually reduce human suffering. We are very much on that journey. We're on that same track right now. And so, as I've said um, a number of times, you know, before I hang up my cleats, I'm going to find something that's going to actually move the needle on ARDS mortality. And I think this ALT100 monoclonal antibody I think this drug will have worldwide application. And so the utility of the antibody across a lot of severe inflammatory diseases that currently don't have really great treatments, I think it's gonna have very, very high utility.